Hey, V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. See that? Ah, that's more like it. Air. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit. M some shit yourself. Misty, you were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That would you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. He picked an interesting hour for it. Me? 
Okay, what's going on? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know... Fine. Fuck no, off. No, no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. Mm hmm Then he tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. <sighs> Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just want to be there for it. Where? And you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? Tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. Yeah. This might not fly over the hollow. Makoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear... You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you.
Is that you, V? Or... Like Vic said, taking matters into my own hands. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Is that you, V? Or... Like Vic said, taking matters into my own hands. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh-huh. V? Have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? I'd ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting in camp. Look out for yourself, V. <coughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out, and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V. I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Look what Looks the like we don't have down. one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <coughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. 
So for now, they only know as much as they need to the know. The plan is solid, Saul. The aim is to help you out. Do not the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me V. Finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourselves. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. We'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's a plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. We'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Doubt that's entirely true. I don't have any hard feelings towards you, V. The opposite, in fact. See, V? You're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Uh, past the Blackwall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. Theory. We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? 
You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. Theory. We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher. This stuff. Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. You think you know all you need to? If not, fire away. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Hey, Dakota. I'm V. We've never met. Chamai, brother. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. That's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an only fae passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. rather just talk to him. Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor is rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. 
Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then... We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. We barely jacked him when her temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. Peachy. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from... Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. From Mel! Through my... So, you want an award? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the ray. Hop on and you'll find out. Are we going somewhere? All right, babe. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Speech! Speech! Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. You're worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, v. v, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldo Caldo. Come on, V. Welcome to the say clan. Your piece. The most dysfunctional. Don't know what to say. It's about time you did it. No, like I really don't. Never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry, it's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. 
A raid is a raid. This is still your night. Some Baskerville and found you. glory. Come on, you can't stay there forever. Come on, you can't stay there forever. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? V, are you well or not? Jacket's a distinction. Honor to get it. And it's prima that. But it's got that weight. Took me under your wing. Gave me your trust. And tomorrow, the op I'm taking you on, might not come back. You hit me all of a sudden. A second ago. That only proves we're doing the right thing. With a sense of responsibility, it's what being part of a family feels like. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I might have. You have to no look around. So maybe I'll take, take two more 45s. See an S Dakota is going to be really generous today. The magpie looking for warmth down the engine. We couldn't get up next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember this. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. <gasps> okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be? The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but, oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon, you will too. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Hey! How go things? The sensors malfunction at higher altitude. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. 
So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. said there's a scrapyard east of... <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Fixed, what you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Beautiful. Check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one I'm good thanks back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters God knows what else they shot them into our veins our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's 
gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, I'm not gonna be facing a ragtag band of Raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Pan Am will lose her chance of taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Iris some Pan Am. She's the one brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates, but good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. Thanks. Rather keep a clear head, though. I can't say I get it, but I respect it. Next time. Now that's what we should drink to. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? I think it's really that bad between them. The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? 
Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. I'm sorry. You've... They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the Aldecaldos are to rise from the ashes, it'll be thanks to you. And thanks to this raid. Huh. For once, I agree with him. I think Pan Am knows exactly what she's doing. But does she know what she wants? Useful if she wants to take the clan wheel. Cool your heels, friend. No one's taken over anything just yet. We need to focus on tomorrow, brothers. Let's all get back in one piece. Then we talk clan politics. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if. Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. Look what the cat dragged in. Aim to prep for tomorrow? You could say that. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bank. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Gotta keep moving. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line.
Begin. Stop! That'll do almost, kid. But practice makes perfect. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more. So this is where you escape to when you need to think. I never escape. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? I'm just looking at this with the doll has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'll be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting. Freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. <laughs>